what happens is that the research, more recent research has shown that advertising builds some residual value, right? So when you're looking for something like a phone, there is a consideration set that you have, right? When you start investigating the brands that are available, your consideration set actually expands, right? And then you come to, so within that investigation, you are looking at uh, internet uh, as a source of information, you are looking at uh, uh, customer reviews, you are looking at your peer set, and he mentioned about influencers, so all that expands your consideration set. And then comes the moment of purchase, right? The moment of purchase uh, is, is, the, uh, is the point at which you walk into a shop and say, is this phone available? And if he says it's not available, then you won't buy it. And whatever is available, you buy it. Somewhere in this, there is also the value of a brand. There is value of, uh, uh, of servicing, which builds loyalty. Anyway, so this is a separate topic. The reason I touched upon this is that, you know, if you look at what the uh, you know, basic evolution of marketing is, first was, I have this product, buy it from me, it solves some problem that you have. The second one was, here is a feature benefit analysis. You know, traditionally what we think from Right? Then there was, you know, here is a character, he stands for certain values, right? And he, and if those are the values you uh, kind of relate to, then that's the product that you buy. Then they are, then there was this whole, uh, you know, uh, let me uh, build certain uh, intangible benefits, right? Which have certain value for you. For example, uh, this uh, is often used for, uh, selling handicraft items, right? So let's say if you go to Fab India, right? Uh, the products here are made by underprivileged people and if you buy them, you are supporting them, right? And then finally it is, I found the coolest brand. Who told me what is, it is the coolest brand? Uh, my friend told me so. So people who buy, let's say, an iPhone or an expensive phone or an expensive car, uh, those, are the, those are the people who would fall into that segment. Now all of these exist at, together simultaneously. So when we say evolution, uh, we don't mean that the previous ones have left been left behind, right? What we are saying is that as we evolve, all of these modes of marketing coexist within us, right? They uh, they coexist in the context that uh, the consumer purchase is is a continuing process. So you won't buy one phone. You will buy many phones. You won't buy one brand of chips. You will buy many brands of chips.